Welcome to the Click Jobs tutorial. Today we're going to go through how you use Click Jobs as an engineer. So on your phone or tablet, you will see the icon Click Jobs in green. So if we tap on that, it will come up with the Click Jobs wizard. So from here, you need to enter a PIN code. Now that PIN code will be given to you via your office and it will be five digits. So I'm going to put in a PIN code I have. Obviously don't put this one in because it won't work for you. And then we just click on next. And then you'll get the prompt to put in your username and password. Now again, you should have received this from someone in your office um, and it will be your click service for username and password. So I'm just going to put our one in. There we go, Ringo Starr, the famous beetle. And we're going to just click finish. And now it will just come up with a prompt asking if I want to enable GPS tracking. In this instance, I'm going to say yes, but it's really entirely up to you and how your business wants to run. And I'm just going to click on yes. And the next thing will be the first time syncs. This is making sure we sync all the information that is available and to come onto your device so you can see your jobs and you can add products that are on the database or add equipment. So I'm just going to press OK. And here you go, you can see it now, it's synchronizing jobs. It's going to synchronize currency products, companies, equipment, any notes, classifications and any action list that you have. Preferably, try and do this whilst you've got a Wi-Fi connection. So it's just synchronizing the equipment at the moment. And it usually takes some 45 seconds to about a minute. You won't need to do this again. It's usually just the first time um, when you use the device. Excellent, you'll get a little buzz sound and it'll say done. So we just click on done. And now you'll see the jobs you've got for this week. So what we can also do is we can click on this week and you can see all the different um, sections. So you could just go to today and you can see what today jobs you've got. You could say you want to go back to this week and you'll see all the jobs you've got for this week. So what you can do is you can click on one of your job sheets. Um, let's go on to this one. And you can see straight away you've got a little job card telling you where the job is, what the category is, and you can click on that and you can see other categories. Fold code, uh, the date and time is it an all day job, it is at the moment, but I think we're going to tick that and we would pretend that actually the start time is nine o'clock. And I'll say the end time is maybe ten o'clock. But hopefully that would be in place for you at the office, so you wouldn't need to change that. But I just want to show you how you can change it yourselves as well. So one of the first things you might do is you might scroll down and you'll see what work needs to be done. So it says installed AC unit and test. So the next thing you might do is click on the three bars at the top here. Um, and you can see work to be done and any actual work done was done before as well. You can also here, you can add your time items. So this is really important. So you'll need to add these time items. So you're logging your time basically. So if I click on time items and I click on the plus, I can log the time items that I've used for that job. I can also log the travel time and the mileage as well. So if I do start time, say I started at 9 and I finished at 10. You can say duration 1 hours and you could put a description of what you did in that labour time if you wanted to. For now I'm just going to put in labour time. And I'm just going to click travel for the next one. And I can say, yep, yeah, I travelled, it took me from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock to get to site and I left the return journey was 10 o'clock and then got back at 11 o'clock you can then enter the mileage if you want so I'm just going to put in 55 miles and I'm just going to click save and that saves your time item that's brilliant and that's one of the most important things you need to log whilst you're in click jobs is one of your time items so the next thing you might do is you might actually go to actual work done 
and put in your actual work there. Now I've already done one here, but I'm going to create a new note as well and say installed unit save. You just click on save. You've also got a microphone option as well, so you can dictate to the phone and it will put that on your actual work done. So if I click on the three dots again, you also see material items, so you can add any materials that you like. So I click on the plus sign. You can either add from your products database, so you can search for products here, or you can just go to add and add a new material item of your choice. So I might call it. And you can put the cost if you want, or you can leave it up to you. And I'll just put AC unit. And I just click on save and that saves the AC unit. Now if we go back, you've got your job card still here, click on the three dots again. I might want to have a look at the equipment that we are installing because you might be you might want to put the equipment on or see it and you can see it's a Dakin aircon unit and you can get some details about that particular unit. So that's what the equipment does. You've also got action list if you do have action list. This particular job doesn't, but you just click on action list and you'll be able to see any action list that are attached to that job. One of the most important things is signatures. So you can sign, so you can signatures, engineer signature, tap to add, and you can just draw the signature on here. And you can also add a customer signature as well. So you go add signature. Make sure they put their name in. And you can just draw a signature and then click save. And you can have as many signatures as you like. We'll just go click on back again. And you can see now you've got two signatures in there. What else you can do is you can actually attach an image as well. So you can go to attach image to job, click on the camera. And you can take a picture. You can also put a description of the image if you like. Click on the back. And then that's it. So the last thing you might do before uh, you finish the job is complete the job. So as we've already put the actual work done in, we know what we've done. I'm next going to tick complete and you can see the status change is complete as well and now it's time to upload the job so once you've finished with the job and you want to send it back to the office you simply just click on where you've got this little arrow pointing up to a bar and it will upload the job and what it's saying is if the job is complete do you want to remove it from the device um, well because I don't really need that job anymore so I'm completing it I'm just going to say yes so it comes off my device So now that will upload and you'll see the little upload button in your notification part screen and it'll be uploading to the cloud so the office can pick up that job. And once it's uploaded it will disappear like so. That's it really. Um, basically to get out of the software or to get out of click you can just click on your back button in the bottom left or you can click on jobs here. And you'll also see just a sort of menu screen that gives you a brief overview of what's going on. Any little notes that you want to type in as well, if you wanted it's a little notebook. Um, but I'm just going to click on the back and I've exited, click jobs. And that's it for the tutorial. Thank you very much for listening.